Hello there, my name's Paul Thornton. Today we're going to be covering the firmware update of a GPI module using an official Spanson board and Windows 10. First thing you're going to want to go and do is go and get the, the firmware update tool. This can be acquired by going to the pycon.io website, hovering over the support and community tab, hovering over support and clicking on the downloads tab. Alternatively, you can go straight to pycon.io forward slash downloads. Once you've made your way there, come along and click on the firmware updates button, which should scroll you down to the appropriate section of the page. You can choose from Windows, Mac or Linux, and once you've made your choice, download it and install it as the same as you would as any other piece of software. While you're downloading that, it's probably a good idea to connect the board to the computer. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and plug in my USB cable. And of course, being a USB cable, I've got it upside down. After you've done that, you can go ahead and pop in your module. In the case of the GPI, I've got it so the PyCom label is in line with the PyCom label along the top. Please note that if you're using an older version of the expansion board prior to version 3.0, you will need to connect a male to male jumper cable between pin G23 and ground, and then hit the reset button before continuing. However, I'm using a later, a later expansion board and do not have to worry about this. Once you've done that, your software should have downloaded. Hopefully you've had a chance to get it installed. So we're going to go ahead and run it. So it'll pop up. It should hopefully tell you that you're running the latest version of the upgrade tool. You can ignore the checkbox about including development releases unless you've been informed otherwise by myself or another member of staff. And you can either check or uncheck send anonymous user statistics depending on your preference. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and hit continue. As mentioned, it does make a note that if you are using an older expansion board, you do need to be in firmware update mode. As mentioned before, that's done by connecting pin G23 to ground and pressing the reset button. But we're going to go ahead and click continue. We're going to sh check that it has indeed found a board and it's found it on port COM20 on this machine. The speed of 115200 is perfectly acceptable. We can leave all three of these checkboxes blanks for this example, but do note if you'd like to flash an older version of the firmware that you found on the download page, you can check this checkbox and point the updater at the appropriate file. However, as I'd just like to install the latest stable version, I'm going to go ahead and select stable and click continue. It's going to take a few seconds to download the firmware from our servers and then it will begin to flash your board with the latest firmware. This may take a few minutes, so do not panic if it takes a while, just let it complete and it should eventually finish. We're going to go ahead and speed this video up while this completes as it can take a couple of minutes. It is worth noting, however, that you should not unplug your board during this as you may risk damaging it. Right, welcome back. And as you can see, we've successfully updated to version 1.18.1.r7, which is the latest stable version at the time of recording. It took about 1 minute and 30 seconds, and it also helpfully shows us our device ID. And that's that really, you can go ahead and use your board for whatever it was you were intending to do. It's been updated. Welcome to the new firmware. If you have any problems, please feel free to contact us on either support at pycom.io or drop a message in the forums where I'll hopefully see you there. Hope everyone had a good Christmas and New Year and this should be the first of many instructional videos going forward. I look forward to seeing you all soon.